So that's why baneful work is not for anyone. It can be fucking disgusting. But you can alter these properties. It has to be the complete opposite. It's one will neutralize the other, so none of them will work. Hey there, my fellow spooky seekers. Welcome to another episode of Spellwork Sundays. My name is Sissy or Mia, depending on which alter ego decides to show up. And I'm a psychic witch, medium, clairvoyant, clairvoyant. Basically, a jack of all trades when it comes to the paranormal. On Sundays, we sit down and I'm reacting to witch talk spells, telling you what they're doing wrong most of the time and how you shouldn't trust um, many witch talk creators when it comes to spells. We also have Paranormal Tuesdays where we react to paranormal investigations on YouTube and Witchcraft Wednesdays where we talk everything about witchcraft, tarot, deity work, angels, demons and all that jazz. So if any of that is your jazz, make sure to subscribe because I'm going live every Tuesday at 6pm GMT to answer all your questions. So hit that bell icon so you won't miss that. Now so far the videos I have on Spellwork Sundays have been carefully curated by me and have earned their place in my calling out playlist. But if you have any suggestions that you would like me to react to on Spellwork Sundays or any others, make sure to drop them down below. Now, th today's video has been, like I said, carefully curated by me and it's one of the most controversial, so to say, um, spelled on TikTok and that is a, a lemon hex. And let's just say that lemon hex, that breakup lemon hex is the first one I ever used, like once I probably got into my craft, was that the breakup spell was the first one I used. It worked within less than two days. But let us talk about the rights and wrongs of this one, shall we? Let's go. He says onion, but um, it's got a lemon. I'm not gonna say that this is completely wrong because yeah letting it rot is like also letting that relationship rot okay but until you that rot right you have actually done a protection and purification spell on that breakup spell. Lemons and onions, they are meant to purify. Now, can you change their properties? Yes, if you mold them, you know how you have this thing and you can mold something into a shape and stuff, it needs to be molded. In this case, how you can mold it is actually let the lemon or the onion to mold, to create mold, to rot. 
before we started so it's that's why painful work is not for anyone it can be fucking disgusting and i'm fucking doing it i'm not gonna touch bugs though that's why i have the tweezers yes now another right thing coffee is indeed used for speeding up the spells so it's peppermint now let's talk about runes a little bit it's not wrong the Hagler's rune is not wrong when it comes to breakup spells because we're gonna be using the beginner's guide to runes i will link down below the keywords for Hagler's are hail disruption change and delay for that one you have to be clear as to which part of the Hagalas is it ha yeah ha Hagalas you want it to do because it can delay that you know so let's uh, read a bit Hagalas is a powerful rune for meditation sit with this rune to understand that no matter how bad you have it you could always have it worse no matter the amount of crops you have lost you could always lose more Chant this rune as you meditate to help find optimism in the most dire of situation. Okay. Meanings of Hagalas. Hagalas literally translates to hail. In the eyes of the Norse and especially those who relied upon crops for sustenance and survival, there may have been no worse adversary than hail. Hagalas portends delays and disruptions and should ready you for a potentially difficult time ahead. You are, or will be soon, suffering under a force of nature of which you have no control. That's why I'm saying it's not wrong in that spell, right? Hail can fall from the sky any time of the year, not just in winter. Just as hail can appear suddenly in a clear sky, this rune portends a very sudden change in your circumstances. This isn't always a pleasant change either, but one that you'll have to bear until it's over. Imagine your ancestors from thousands and thousands of years ago. It is almost certain that those people from whom you've descended raised crops. As these ancestors of ours had no modern conveniences like grocery stores, doctors or hospitals, the success of these crops and livestock were the absolute success of their family. There was no other connection to the earth that was more important than the one brought as food and sustenance. Now imagine being those people when a hailstorm would appear in the sky. They wouldn't have had any sort of modern tools to help cover the crops. And if you ever borne witness to a hailstorm before, you know the damage hail can cause to plants. Your ancestors, while suffering under the onslaught of hail, would be able to do nothing but put their hands up in the air and plead to the gods to do as little damage as possible. Hagalas is that force of nature under which you suffer, but there is a reminder to stay optimistic. No hailstorm can last forever and the sun always returns. Now, that's why I'm not saying this is wrong, and that's why I will always defend um, lemon hexes, right? It might have been on my calling out playlist, but it's calling out because I want to do a video on it. <laughs> Magic is not set in stone. Yes, the herbs have some um, set properties, right? In the way they are, they have some certain properties. But you can alter these properties. No, you cannot use rosemary for every fucking thing. Because I've seen that, yeah, you, ro uh, rosemary can substitute everything. No, it can fucking not. When I'm saying that you can alter the properties of a plant, of a herb, it needs to be the exact opposite of what that plant or herb actually does. For example, a lemon purification its actual property is purification but if you mold it what is the opposite of purification 
make something dirty like ugh. like bleh you know it's not like you can take a lemon which is for purification and make it into a domination plant you cannot take rosemary which is um, a plant for protection and use it as a hexing plant so when you alter the properties of these plants herbs whatever it has to be the complete opposite of its thingy because then it's just i don't know what the fuck that does the point of this spell was to have that pure and nice relationship represented by the onion or the lemon you put their names in there and it's like yes yeah, see you've got such a nice relationship and stuff and um then just leaving it to rot like oh just um you know enjoy it while you have it because it's not gonna last for long now um i completely forgot about it it came to me now salt and pepper are we <laughs> are we just like spicing our food and stuff salt is for protection pepper is for banishing so what are you protecting what are it's two completely different things so in this case in my opinion and what Ekati Ekati is Hecate I'm saying it the Greek way I'm fucking Greek okay it's not that hard for you to say Ekati anyway I'm oh, sorry it's uh, that's another rant I'm, I'm having it in my head all the time anyway but what I have learned from Ekati is the fact that you cannot put two completely different intentions in the same thing because one will neutralize the other right so for example let's take this lemon hex right this lemon breakup hex you cannot in the same jar be like you know what yes i'm breaking them two up and because they're breaking up i'm putting a love spell on myself and the the person one of the people let's say it was the guy that you were into or whatever you put the love spell on the guy i'm saying guy because i'm into guys okay easy for me to give you so you can't put it because one will neutralize the other so none of them will work none of them will work so he put salt to protect why because salt like i don't think you can change the properties of salt salt is salt they cannot be molded they cannot it's for protection why do you think sam and dean are always doing a salt circle why do you think spongebob was doing a salt circle protection the pepper i could understand to banish that relationship right banish it you can make black salt you can make black salt which is also for banishment Right, and an easy way for you to make it. I can show you mine, actually. Wait. Shit. Okay. Now, it looks a bit messy, but bear with me. I have this little thingy. And I put salt. And that's where I'm actually putting my incense. And it actually... The ashes fall onto here and they make black salt which is salt which is for banishment now yes if he had used black salt it would be like 
yeah, fine. But just the salt is the thing that got to me. That's why I'm always saying research stuff, okay? Research things first. There's a way for you to do it. It's, it's very fucking easy. Go on Google, search salt magical properties, rosemary magical properties, sage magical properties. You have the information at your fucking fingertips. Do your fucking cross reference. And the reason why I'm saying another thing important do you want to know why because i do have a video on my tiktok saying like how i did a lemon hex that worked do you want to know why i'm not giving you exactly step by step how i did it not because i i think you someone can see it and break it i found way more powerful ways to make breakup hexes since then obviously very fucking powerful so i wouldn't worry about you breaking it because i found better ways so the reason why i'm not gonna give you step by steps and you're not gonna fucking see a tutorial on my um account is because I love you but you are dumb I said what I said you are fucking dumb because you will take that spell which is a baneful magic right and you will do that shit without any fucking protection When I first started, I saw a TikTok. Onion spell to make him cry for you. Guess who ended up crying? Not him. I. Because I didn't know anything about protection. Like, whatever. They don't say anything. And why would they? Why would they? It comes back to you do that shit. You do that shit. And it has the opposite effects because it will backfire. And then you run to them and give them your money. So that's why I'm not going to fucking give you a step-by-step -step tutorial. And if I was going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial, it will have to be paid. And why? You ask like in a Patreon type of thing. And why? Because I know those bitches that are trying to put uh, stuff on me. First of all, I wouldn't even give you the stuff that I actually use. But anyway, but I know that those bitches that are trying to put stuff on me, they wouldn't even want to pay me to see what I'm actually doing. So, I'm not going to give you step-by-step -step tutorials. Take it however you want. I'm sticking by it. I'm out here informing you, right? Telling you how stuff are. And then with your noggin, you make stuff up. I will not be responsible for how you choose to use it. If you choose to do that breakup fucking spell without any fucking protection, don't come crying to me. Because it backfired. I sound mean. I know. But someone has to tell you it. Because you're trusting random fucking people on the internet. And I'm saying that because I did. You know. Technology is such a good. But an awful thing. Because it has made us. Be very. Short memory circuit. You know. We want that quick fix. We want something to happen quick. And if it's not done in 30 seconds. We don't fucking give a shit. Right, so you see this third, the second clip, and you're like, fine, I'll do it. And you don't sit and think about it. 
you don't sit and research about it even though also that information is 30 seconds away from you and another 30 seconds to read about it it doesn't fucking take long but because of technology we have become like so what is that thing you called anyway that thing i'm out here to inform you i'm out here to make you fucking think in a fucking society where no one seems to think anymore i don't fucking know that everyone seems to be so fucking stupid right now and i'm out here to empower you and make you use your noggin so yes one i'm not gonna give you step-by-step -step tutorials if you want it pay me. sounds bad but pay me and i know i sound like one of those people that are uh, people that i'm calling out i get that but i don't i am not being shady about it because i'm not gonna be out here and sell you something sell you i'm not gonna be out here and give you something that i know will fuck you up so you can come to me and pay me and i can be your savior no no if you want actual stuff then yes i, I can maybe consider later on more people make a patreon teaching you guys but you won't see a step-by-step -step tutorial for me because if you follow me i would expect you to use your mind and think and research that is i'm, I'm recording for half an hour now that went way quicker than I thought. Um, <clears throat> so that spell was not bad until you put the salt in it. <sighs> God. I hope that made sense. Until next time. Don't be stupid. I'll see you next week. Bye.